Good day everyone, I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a little game called Skyroads. This is an arcade style racer in space. It was released in 1993, developed by Blue Moon Interactive Software, something like that. You get the idea, and uh, it is hard as all hell. But I was really, really good at this game as a kid. Uh, I had a recent, you know, I had a quick run through of this a bit earlier, and I've realized that I have lost all my skill for it. So let's get right into this. This will be fun and painful. <laughs> so basically, you're this little racy ship thing, and you go along a track like this, and the objective simply is to get to the end of the level. Whoa, okay, don't do that. Yeah, you gotta be very precise when you go through those tunnels. Uh, you just gotta get to the end of the level and go through the little tube at the end, and then you win! Easier said than done. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a... Whoa, I'm gonna kill myself intentionally so I can quickly talk about this. Uh, I've got a fuel meter, and see that thing going up and down right now? That's my speed, which I can control. And I have to get to the end before my fuel runs out, and the fuel will deplete uh, at the same rate no matter how fast or slow I'm going, which isn't really realistic, but don't try to look for realism in a game like this, um, which means you can't really just go really slow and try to breeze through a level for several reasons. You'll run out of fuel, and you won't have enough momentum to jump to each platform. And uh, what else have I got here? Oh yeah, on that left side there's a little bar that's slowly filling up. That's my progress bar. That tells me how far I am, or how close I am to the end of the level. Ah, okay, yeah, and different colored platforms do different things. I believe the blue ones, like the one I'm on now does nothing, this one does nothing, but the bright blue ones uh, instantly refill all your fuel. These ones do nothing, this one does nothing. Blue ones refill fuel, and the red ones kill you instantly, basically. And there's a- whoa, don't go on that one again. Ah, okay, this is hard, this is hard. I think there's another one which brings you to a complete stop, and there's another kind of color that uh, instantly, <laughs> instantly raises you to maximum speed. So yeah, that's basically all there is uh, to this game. I spent a hell of a lot of time playing this when I was six, five or six years old, and I got crazy good at it, but it is brutally hard, it is so hard. Uh, I mean, this is just the second level and I'm having a bit of trouble, but you should see the craziness that uh, this gets to. The levels of craziness it gets to are unbelievable and stupidly unfair and frustrating. But we're doing alright so far, we're doing alright. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, uh, I'm just trying to trying to not die and trying to speak at the same time. It's a bit tricky. The controls are a little awkward. Ah, oh, God, you have to be so perfect on those. Um, yeah, and this is uh, and this is one a uh, bouncy ship, as you can tell. I don't really understand what that's about. The ship just kind of bounces all over the place if you hold down the jump button. And I don't know why the ship can't fly, it just has to kind of go launch off these platforms for some reason. It can only, you know, run along these tracks. So that was Red Heat. Uh, there's three uh, levels in each area. But let's try Into the Sun, let's see how hard this is. It's gonna be hard. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, alright, alright. I think these uh, green... No, the... Either the green or the brown ones, if you move over them, your ship kind of just slides over. It's like, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, buddy. That wasn't... Game wasn't hard enough already. Thanks for that. I don't know what that 500 means on the left. I guess it means points. I also don't know what that thing that says idle means. I am certainly not idle right now. I am going crazy with the... Uh, in the roads of the sky. Whoa, that was actually pretty good. Thank you. Well done me. Road completed. Ah, so, um, 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 what do I say now? How do I do video commentaries, guys? I don't know how to make videos. Like, there's only so much you can talk about with a game like this, so... 
I'm just gonna stop with the informative side of things, and from now on you can just watch me struggle. This is gonna be... Bah. Annoying. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm doing pretty decently, actually. And, um, since this is gonna take forever to do every single level, let's just do one from each section. And see how I do. Let's do Blue Planet, Road 1. What's the gimmick in the Blue Planet area? I don't know, all the roads appear to be blue. Coincidence? I think not. Alright, what are these green tunnels? Whoa, no, no, no. No. Oh no, I was supposed to go through there. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna do a new one from each level. Regardless of whether I succeed or fail. Let's do Satellite! Road 1. Ah. <sighs> I first saw this game when I was about five or six, as I remember. Everyone was uh, crowded around this thing and they're like, What's going on? What's going on? You've got a new game installed on the computer! Because we, you know, we're allowed to play video games at school for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why they allowed that, but I'm not complaining, it was awesome. Uh, oh no, I keep going left. Screw it, let's do the next section. But everyone was crowded around just look at this amazing new game called Skyroads and we're blown away by the graphics and the speed of it. And also the challenge. Like, the kids like me who are good at this game, we were kings. We were kings among men for a short period of time before everyone got bored of it. Uh, uh, Jesus, this is go crazy. It's kind of a gradient here. Oh, no, don't touch that. Don't, bad colors. Um, yes, that was really well done. That was really well done. Thank you. I'm surprised I did that. Like, I did so badly at this when I played it, just to have a quick look off camera. I'm glad that I'm doing well on camera, I guess. Although it's not as hilarious as watching me fail, but sometimes you just gotta let me... Oh, that's just deceiving. I'm gonna try one more time. They put a tunnel that ends in a wall that you can't see. I hate that. So you gotta go on top of the tunnels. Yeah, that's totally intuitive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're doing good. This level is not hard. This game's easy. This game's too easy. I need a challenge. This is just... I could do this in my sleep. Yeah, see that? That's how it's done. Road completed. <laughs> Let's do Crab Nebula, Road 1. What's Crab Nebula? What? How am I supposed to make that jump? Oh, yeah. I didn't mention that. I forgot about that. Uh, gravity is different in different uh, either levels or worlds. Crab Nebula being a world. Oh, okay. So that platform sucked all my speed away, then I couldn't jump far enough to avoid... Okay, how do I do that? I don't... Maybe I'll go under it. Let's try this again, because I like this crazy low gravity. Let's go down here. Uh, come on. Down you go. Okay, I can go underneath it. That's cool. Cool, cool. Where do I go now? Oh no. Come on. Come on. I'm going a bit too fast. Whoa! Damn it! Okay. I've had enough of Crab Nebula. Screw Crab Nebula. I don't like you, Crabby. Crab, Crab Neb... What? What am I saying? Over the base. What base are we going over? Ooh. Well, okay, what's the deal with this? Wow, this over the base. Oh no, don't suck my speed away. All right, over the base failed. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. We're almost done. I hope this game isn't too boring for you. It's kind of good. I mean, it's hard. Oh my God. It's just getting worse and worse. It's hard, but it is, uh, pretty, and there's a nice... What? What? There's a nice sense of speed to it. Also, the music is really good. I don't know if you can hear that. I should probably turn the volume up or something. My very unprofessional video editing skills. But whatever. I've only been doing this a couple of weeks now. Bear with me. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do, uh, the Earth. Wait, did I just do the Earth? Oh, I totally did. What the hell am I talking about? 
Okay, let's do Druidia, the final, the final world, and I'll just show you how crazy hard this gets. Ah, uh, uh, see? I can't even get past the first little bit. What if we do it really, really slowly? Okay. Just inch my way across here. Fuck! <laughs> well, there's no way I'm getting through this, so we might as well look at the very last level in the game. Because I'm sure it's crazy. Whoa, okay. Maximum speed off the... Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this... This is a good indication of how hard Skyroads is. That wasn't even a quarter of the entire level that I just finished there. Let's try this one more time. One more time and then I'll wrap this up. Because nostalgia is great and all, but I need to preserve my sanity. One more time, one more time, one more time. It's not like I'm going to do it, I just want to see how far I can get. Obviously, if this is the only game you have to play, then you're going to get real good at it, which is probably the only reason why I got good at it. If I had almost any other game to play at the time, I probably would have uh, not given this much time at all. Not that it's bad, like I said, it's alright, it's good. Alright, after this failure, I'm going to stop this video. Oh yeah, I got to a new point, I don't care if I exploded, that was a new record. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to, uh, what's a good verb? I don't know. Um, squeeze the like button. Yeah, squeeze, that's a weird word. I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching. Keep it fancy. I'll see you next time.